Hello, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I'm answering is, what do you get in this kit, this package, this game here? This is Sentinel Comics, the role-playing game, starter kit from Greater Than Games. This is the pen and paper RPG based on the Sentinel's of the multiverse universe which first started with the sentinels of the multiverse card game has since grown on to miniature games computer games apps and more so this is the role-playing game now this uses a modified cortex system which was evolved from the marvel heroic role-playing system but simplified for this system here and what i have now i will note i have played this game at a couple game conventions and had a fantastic time under some excellent gms like eric paquette I loved it. I had such a great time, but I didn't get to see what was going on behind the scenes. I was just a player. I was handed a character sheet and I played. So I finally got myself a copy of this, picked this up, and I'm really looking forward to checking out what's in here, what you get. It looks like we got a bunch of different pamphlets and then getting to run Sentinel Comics for myself. So thank you for joining me. I'm going to throw down the camera and tilt it down, and we're going to take a look at what you get inside the Sentinels of the Multi, or sorry, Sentinel Comics, the role playing game, which is the Sentinels of the Multiverse role playing game from Greater Than Games. All right, so here we have it. We're pulling the shrink wrap off. We have the uh, the folder that is the Sentinel Comics. Look at that brightness. Sorry, that just right there. Doesn't that get you wanting to play? Oh, we have a bookmark. Nice touch. So one of the things we get is a coming soon to Kickstarter in 2018. Yeah, I'm a little behind the times here. At the Tabletop Bellhop, we are not always about the new hotness. Um, what's really awesome is they call their, their contact info the letter page. So you go, we have a bookmark. So as I'm reading this, I can easily bookmark my position. So what we have here is very cool. The cover basically becomes like a, a GM player screen and has the player reference that shows your different dice and how to take actions, your basic actions that everyone can do. Um, your basic actions in this are overcome, attack, boost or hinder or defend, which sounds a lot like fake core, which is interesting to see. Um, and then we have a GM reference, which how to set up action scenes, villains, challenges, environments, twists. Um, has a very comic book look with all the, the kind of call outs. And then I know this is something that happens that every round after everyone goes, everything escalates in this game. And then you start getting more power. So it recreates that ability or that aspect of superhero comics where, you know, the players aren't doing that great. But then by failing and by by not succeeding, they then kind of go deep down inside themselves and find a bit more. Right. And then eventually things get critical where it's, it's reaching the end and it's going to be the climax. And all of a sudden they start pulling out new ways to use their powers. That is something represented in this game. So this is just the sleeve. And like I said, it's kind of a, I don't know if you call it a DM screen because you do have player reference on one side and GM notes on the other. So next we have the gameplay guide, which again, that cover just right there, just bang, superheroes. It just makes me want to play. Um, your adventure begins here. So this would be the first book you're going to look through. Nice big text, nice um, table of contents. So it looks like a role-playing book. Um, two column, fairly small text. You got some good call outs here. I can tell that they're they're highlighting new terms in purple. There is a player section of the book introducing you to the different dice. Um, I don't know if there's a reason they color code them and then they show the icon there. So this is trying to tell you in the game it shows this and this is what you roll, I guess, uh, for people who can't figure that out. Fair enough. Um, why you do it? No, you're a hero. You're a teammate. You're going to play to your personality. You're going to play to your principles. So we're looking at superheroes here, not um, vigilantes. This, this is more of a, a, a positive spin on superheroes instead of some of the darker stuff that we've seen in the comics in the recent years. Uh, this goes through all the different actions. Still going to boost, hinder. Some artwork here, but a lot of text here. I do like this. Once we get into the dice rolls, there's lots of nice color examples here of the dice. Uh, the paper's a nice quality. It's not quite plastic, but it's also not just that plain paper. Obviously in full color, which is appreciated. We got special cases, so that's cool. Getting into the details. Rules overall are not going to be that thick. Um, now we're in the game moderators, so this is how to like set the scene and things like that. And then we have villains and how their stat blocks will appear. We're up to a total of 19 pages, that's it, for an intro set of rules. That's nice and thin. 
So what we have here is absolute zero. So we have a character booklet. So there's going to be one of these for each of the different characters you can play. Now, these are famous characters from the Sentinels multiverse universe, characters you could have played in the card games. So this is going to give you a player book. Um, you've got your info here. I really hope, and I assume there is, I could get a PDF of this. That's something I don't know confirmed. Or you might want to laminate this if you're going to take it out of the book so you can at least make notes on it. Uh, this goes go right through how you should be playing the character, character points. So as well as being uh, the tracker for the character, it also gives you like role-playing tips and stuff like that. Then you have the character's different powers. And what's nice here is they actually have a call-out that kind of tells you what type of dice to use for each one. So when I played the game, all I got to see was this and this. I didn't get all this nice bonus info, but the DM was cool enough to walk us through everything. And this is what I was talking about, so the escalation. So you start off at the beginning of the fight, you're fighting some thugs. You're in your green powers. You're not You're not pushing it, right? But then, all of a sudden, the, the main villain shows up flying out of the sky, and it's like, ooh, we're into yellow. And then, while the main villain starts charging up his cannon that's going to destroy the whole city, you're into the red, which I thought was a really neat step up, kind of like the uh, terror dice in some previous games. So then there's a reference card here on how to take action. So here, this is the exact same thing that's on that DM screen. So that probably could be used to the DM screen. And that's it. So what you have for this is each of the different characters. So you have Bunker, who's your, your Iron Man knockoff. And same thing, right? Here's all his powers. There's some hints on his powers and how exactly they work. Um, Bunker, of course, is a little different because he has different suits of armor he can wear. So you have a different auxiliary sheet. And then it's getting into, there's background info on the back. Then you have uh, Legacy, who is the most well-known hero, your your main Superman type of character. I'm not going to go through all of these books. Then we get into Tachyon, Infinity, Wraith. So that's all your heroes. I didn't count as one. It looked like six. So we have six different character books. Then we get into the Robot Master Revealed, which is going to be an adventure, which... The Freedom 5 Issue 6, Robot Master Revealed, Game Master Only. So, I don't want to spoil anything, so we're just going to kind of, okay, a bunch of intro text, lots of art, there's some stuff we're going to check off, oh, look at, there's some boxes here, oh, look at how that's going to escalate, oh, no, things are escalating even here, and then we have an epilogue at the end, and then your adventure continues, and it tells you how to go to the next story. No, this is literally for the GM to inspire you to continue to tell your own stories, which is really cool. All right. What do we got here? We have another. So we have issues three, four, and five, Rage Unending of Justice Comics again. So we have a two full scenarios so far. Then we have three full scenarios so far, Where the Undead Lie, Tome of the Bazaar. So something else I dig here. It looks like we are going for different themes. You've got a very anti-communist theme here, which fits the comics I grew up with. Um, this is your, your group story, right? The Freedom Five. Here we're getting into the macabre, your more horror story. We've got another one, which is going into your whole lost world, it looks like. And another, holy cow, there are a lot of different issues in here. Void if broken, and itsy bitsy spider bots. So hold on, we got one, two, three, four, five, six full adventures. Six, that is impressive. Six full adventures to play through with six different characters using 20 page starter rules including a bookmark and a duo tank my only complaint about any of this is for one you don't get the dice but most of us have dice how am i going to store this on my shelf like do, do i just tuck it all in here you kind of hope this sleeve takes it together minor complaint at worst sentinel comics the role-playing game starter kit all right there you have it um if you just watch that you hurt my excitement going through this this is an impressive kit. Uh, that, that is a lot of stuff. Like, I am used to getting a starter set like this, and I've reviewed a number of them over the years. I love starter sets. I, I'm a huge fan of RPG starter sets, even for games I haven't played. Now, I played this, so I was excited about this. But look at the content in there. you got six different character booklets for six different players. The rules are only 20 pages long, which is ridiculously short for a full pen and paper role-playing game. Uh, note, the one thing you won't find here is how to make your own characters makes sense this is a starter set most starter sets use pre-gen so you are stuck with pre-gen characters but there are six different stories in here six different adventures most starter sets come with one sometimes even just a one shot 
I played a number of games where the starter set comes with an adventure that can be run in two hours. This is like probably a campaign's worth of adventure in this uh, this book, this package, this duo tank. I am extremely impressed by this. Plus, it just looks great. Like everything about this just screams the superheroes of my youth. Uh, before everything went all Dark Knight, Wolverine, Renegade, too many pouches. The 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 more pure and happy good guys versus bad guys, superhero stopping evil. I am extremely impressed. Thirteen books in here. You have thirteen books, six characters, six adventures, and a rule book that's only twenty pages long. I I am really looking forward to playing this. Um, this this is one of the most exciting things I've opened in a long time. Uh, great looking job. This looks great, greater than games. Um, having actually played the system under other DMs, I gotta say it is a great system. I am really looking forward to getting this one to the table. So again, that's Sentinel Comics, the role-playing game starter kit from Greater Than Games, letting you play your favorite heroes from the Sentinels of the Multiverse in role-playing, pen and paper, role-playing form. Now, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me everywhere on the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. I'd love it if you headed over to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, to find other gaming content. One of the main things we like to do is answer your gaming game night questions. Now, you can find answers to those questions on the blog, on our podcast, or on our YouTube videos. And if you've got a question for us, send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Finally, before I go, I do have to push our Patreon. If you enjoy this video and like to see more like it and let us keep creating and upgrading so I can do things like nice 3D effects and overlays, um, you can go to tabletop or sorry, patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and consider tipping your bellhops. For the tabletop bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano. Good night and game on. <laughs>